my name is Suda Sundar. I'm a gynecological oncologist that's a women's cancer surgeon and an academic, so I run a research program and I'm based at the University of Birmingham. Tell us about your association with cancer research in Birmingham. So at Birmingham we have a broad cancer portfolio. This involves large cancer trials. The trials unit at Birmingham is one of the largest in Europe. There's also a commitment to science and scientific research in Birmingham that's laboratory based but also more importantly translational so we're able to address questions that arise in patients and take them and answer them and address them in the lab and then go from bench to bedside and, and vice versa. Uh, for my own research program I run a large uh, ovarian cancer trials uh, both in diagnostics so trying to detect ovarian cancer early as well as in identifying surgical outcomes so um, how we can improve patients' outcomes after surgery in ovarian cancer. More recently, I've been involved in trying to understand cancer genetics and trying to understand the particular kind of gene mutations or genetic abnormalities that cause cancer in women, more specifically women of Indian origin, so Asian women. Tell us about your collaboration with CGI and other collaborations. So we're very fortunate in having um, CGI as our collaborator. Uh, as you know, they're a center of excellence in India, and they are excellent collaborators who have uh, enormous commitment to high-quality clinical medicine as well as research in medicine. We uh, are keen to forge a sustainable uh, partnership with them that involves them recruiting patients into a large-scale cohort study so that we can address together the issues around variation in genetic backgrounds in Indian women with uh, women's cancer, so breast, ovarian, uterine, and cervical cancer. And we're wanting to work with them and our other collaborative partners in India uh, to address these very important questions. What's the roadmap? What's the plan that you have? So our roadmap is that initially we're setting up a feasibility study. So a limited small scale two year study with PGI where patients will be recruited to provide um, patient samples that will be analyzed at PGI um, uh, with help from the National Institute of Biomedical Genomics in Calcutta as well as with us at the University of Birmingham. Uh, and this will allow us to assess the feasibility of such a study and, and, uh, and um, establish what our protocols are for sample collection and data analysis and really get to work uh, cohesively with each other. We'll also be trying to address along with our other collaborative partner who are Public Health Foundation of India in Delhi, um, the attitudes of patients, their families and doctors to this knowledge that gene mutations can cause cancer. Uh, so our initial roadmap is this feasibility study for two years and then our longer term vision is a pan Punjab or a pan India study which would be a large scale cohort study of, uh, of women of patients with gynecological and breast cancers so that we can address the issue of germline i.e. inherited mutations as well as uh, mutations that are specific to the tissue of that cancer so that we will be able to identify women uh, whose cancer is inherited and uh, having this knowledge allows us to be able to advise prevention and screening to their families and also possibly try and treat them more efficiently so that we can improve survival rates. Going to, uh, how are you going on with the other Indian centers and more genomic centers? So we'll very much be guided by our Indian partners, PGI and NIBMG in this. For the moment, we are working with, uh, with our, our key uh, partners in uh, PGI and NIBMG. Uh, the future obviously is uh, dependent upon how this feasibility study grows, uh, but we know that there's a very strong registry in Punjab for cancer, and they're already collecting data, and that's quite unusual um, uh, and a great achievement. So I think we will be able to build on those uh, connections that are already established in PGI to expand the study. Then we have plans to move across India. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. 
So that's a very good question. And I think one of the reasons why we spoke to PGI in the first instance is because in the UK, we have a large population of patients from, um, from India, and many of them have originated from Punjab. So we do have a proportion of uh, women with cancer in our practice that we currently don't manage according to data that's derived, the knowledge that's derived from Indian population. So data that's generated in this study will help Indian patients being managed better in India, but it will also help us manage patients in the UK from Indian origin more efficiently. So I think in terms of what's, what's possible through research, I think a lot is possible. Uh, I think uh, certainly the cost of sequencing the genome has dropped. The time in which this, the human genome is, is, can be sequenced has reduced. And I think we're on an onward path with that. Um, certainly, I think in terms of the knowledge that we gain in being able to manage patients, we're exponentially increasing it. The question is how clinically relevant is this? Where is the affordability in all of this? And how can we translate this enormous amount of knowledge into clinically relevant information? And I think that is the challenge that I think we haven't really got to grips with. And really it's important for us to gather cohort studies like this to not just generate the data, but to understand how that data can be used clinically. Because um, there's data that is meaningless and there's data that that will be clinically useful and we don't know which one's which until we can connect the genomic data with the clinical data in a robust fashion. And that's really what we're hoping to establish. Thank you. Thank you.